So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Sister, back! And just like that, the god took away my sister. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So while we used to travel from world to world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. When I woke, I was all alone, until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going!
Are you hurt? <gasps> You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Jean, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <sighs> Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from storm terror's grasp. I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way hilly churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archon still walked the Earth? A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in the lone stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bard soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber, only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? Free! 
ladies! What are you doing oh, here? Oh, no! Run! Oh, no! We're busted! Run! What? Follow me. in your eyes. Sadness that speaks of your yearning for this song. They are communicating. Huh? No! Don't get bored! Do not be fooled by him, dear dragon. He loves you to rot alone. Now he attempts to deceive you once more. Let your wrath Esther! Mondstadt has already turned its back on you! You! You were planning this all along to have me slain by them! No! Listen to me! The time has come for the dragon to serve its true master! <laughs> While you beware your pragmatic Watch the world tremble with fear. Your Highness, your humble servant returns. When your homeland returns to this world, we shall revel in its glory. Just now. Why? Why did you not ask me to protect you like the last time? Me not wanting you to listen to the Abyss Order doesn't mean that you have to listen to me. Freedom, if demanded of you by an Archon, is really no freedom at all. Is this the power of the Animal Archon? But I am no longer part of the Four Winds. Even if that's so, you still protected us regardless. Now spread your wings of freedom and go with my blessing. And so, the Storm Terror threat was quelled. I clarified the misunderstanding to the citizens of Mondstadt and let them know that they are safe. To them, it seems Storm Terror attacked Mondstadt out of nowhere and then vanished just as quickly. They must be finding the whole ordeal very confusing. However, winds change their course. Someday, they will blow towards a brighter future. Tone for these sins 
for the rest of my life, it would still not be enough. <sighs> oh, I'll give it here. should get going. That trick I used to repair the Holy Liar. <laughs> I mean, the magic I used isn't going to hold forever, you know. What? <laughs> you that Hey, don't go! At last, Mondstadt's rodent ruler in the flesh. <laughs> Scurrying through the streets looking for leftovers? Mondstadt calls this a god? Resident rodent beats invasive vermin. <laughs> Don't you dare speak back to me, insolent bard. <sighs> Absentee Archon of Mondstadt. Impotent you've become. That smirk you wear looks out of place. Did you steal it from your master's face? <clears throat> you should have held your tongue. <sighs> so, this is a gnosis. Wouldn't be caught dead wearing this ugly thing in public. Beauty is a waste. <laughs> When the beholder has no taste. Fenty! <laughs> well, we have what we came here for. Come, before our dear Favonian friends arrive. Leave nothing for them to find. Uh, 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 